Hey guys, it's Holly and welcome on back to ARK. So as you can see, I have been busy. I've been real busy. Now this pen was inspired by another YouTuber, so I will place down his link in the comment section below. I seen he built a bit of a taming pen. I thought it looked really cool, so I have built something similar for myself for our new aberration exploration. So uh, let's go in and we'll check it all out. So this is obviously the front entrance. We have some metal spikes up to keep all the nasties out because there are so many on this map. It is crazy. And in here we have two Ravengers. So this is Beastie. Now we tamed up Beastie all on our own and then we have Rage over here which is Laughter's Ravenger. Now what I am thinking, Beastie is a girl, Rage is a boy. Do you see where I'm going with this? I'm sure you do. We're gonna, we're gonna try and have some little Ravenger babies. They're also quite high level. So Beastie was tamed at level 110 and Rage was tamed at level 145. So I'm hoping we are able to get uh, some really strong spawns over these guys. And did you just see that? It's like synchronized pooing in here. That is ridiculous, you guys. That's pretty funny. All right, so down over here, we have our fabricator. We also have an auction station, which I'm honestly not too sure how that works just yet, but I guess we'll figure that all out. We also have our smithy. We have some forges. Then up here, we have the AA workbench, our S plus crafting station, a generator, and then over here we have a spoiling bin and we also have an oil drum. So this one just collects oil for us from um, random plants and random animals, which is kind of awesome, saves us having to go out and try and find it. And then this one is obviously pretty self-explanatory. I put the meat in it and it spoils it all really quickly. Then down here we have a veggie crate because obviously like I said uh, this server does have a few mods on it but it doesn't have a lot so I will link them in the comment section below so you know exactly what mods we are playing with. We also have our little veggie crate down here which collects fruit and veggies for us but I don't have a veggie patch as of yet. We will get one though. And then up here is where I'm hoping to place these guys to like make our babies and stuff. So we might do that. We're gonna bring these guys up here and see if we can't maybe get them to uh, make us a little baby Ravager. I think it's gonna be super cute. Alrighty, so they are both up here. So now all that's left to do, I'm going to enable wander. Enable wandering. And uh, we're gonna enable wandering on you. And hopefully these guys don't get out at all. I'm pretty sure they should be pretty safe up here. Now, can we see any love hearts happening? We can, look, there's some love hearts. It's, it's all happening behind those doors. <laughs> ah, this is awesome. Oh, and I forgot to show you upstairs. I got so carried away about having a baby Ravager. All right, so we're going up here and then upstairs, I haven't really put anything up here just yet. This is just like a completely open area. I don't know if maybe I want to make this like a little hatching area or we'll place um, some air conditioners and things like that because I really want to get some of these rock drakes. They look really quite cool. I will run over and show you. Laughter has already got one. He has been on this server for a little bit longer than I have. So I'm still trying to get up as far as they are. But as you can see, our tribe already has quite a lot of dinos. So there are four people in our tribe now, which is pretty awesome. And this here is a Laughter's Rock Drake. How cool is he? He is amazing and I hope to soon find our own little rock drake eggs and we will be able to have our own little baby rock drake. <laughs> oh, I wonder how they're going. I don't actually know how long it is going to take for these guys to breed and pop out a baby. So I should probably keep a really close eye on them. All right, let's have a look. What do we got happening in here? We're at 88% for mating. That is awesome. 
All right, you guys just stay there and do your thing. We will be right back as soon as we have a baby. So we are into the gestation period now. 24 minutes and 19 seconds and counting. All right, so I don't know. Maybe I might move Rage out of there now. He has done his job. Let's, uh, let's get you out of here. We will leave Beastie alone and let her just gestate in private. And I should probably turn off your wonder. Yes, definitely turn off your wonder. So I guess while that is happening, we could go ahead and start making up some crop plots. There we are, beautiful. So now all we need to do is we need to place some seeds and we need to place some fertilizer in there. You also need to irrigate them. Huh, well. That's going to be interesting because I haven't actually really showed you guys around this area just yet. I will, uh, I'll show you exactly where we are. So if you run all the way to the edge over here, this is where the lake is. <laughs> so it, oh, I, that was bad. That was bad. Oh no. Oh, get back up the edge, please. Thank you. Oh, that was lucky. I nearly fell straight into the water. So as you can see, it's going to be a little bit of work to try and get the water up to our house. But I believe there is some sort of mod on the server in which we can just get water from taps. But I'm really not too sure how to do that just yet. So I will figure it out, though. All right, Laft is here to give us a hand with our water issue because I honestly can't figure it out. They're telling me I literally just need to connect the tubes together, but it wouldn't work for me, so... Okay, so we need to put down an intake first by the sounds of it. Okay, and then you just place a little pole on top of it. And then a tap. Awesome! That is fabulous. Now we have like a little shower. <laughs> Ah, uh, so going on what Laughter just said, we should, in theory, should probably close that behind me, be able to just place down the intake out here, and it should hopefully water our crop plots. Let's have a look. Place it like that, maybe? Maybe? We will soon find out. Um, then I want a, an up and down pole, like so, and a tap on there like that awesome there we go does that water our oh awesome so it does it is actually irrigating them both now excellent so we just need to get some seeds and then our little crops will be ready to go now our baby should be just about here how long have we got we got 48 seconds awesome just in the nick of time oh look we got a little baby where are you baby your baby just there, imprint on baby Ravenger. All right, so this one is going to be called Spike for now. Except, hey little baby, access inventory. All right, uh, we'll give you some food because you're probably very hungry. Jeez, your health stats are amazing. And your melee damage isn't bad. What level are you, little baby? You're 204. Awesome stuff. And when do you want care? You want care in 48 minutes. Oh, man. Can I, can I get you to follow me? Stay open. Come on, little baby. Come on. Are you coming? Oh, he's beautiful. Check him out. I don't even know if this is a little girl or a little boy yet. What are you? You are a little female. Well, you are super cute. Can we, can you come like over here a bit further for me? Let's see you next to dad so we can actually see how tiny you are. <laughs> Look how little he is. Should I say she is? That is awesome. You are kind of ugly in a really cute way though. <laughs> So, but in true holy fashion, I have done this video quite backwards. So I've shown you how to breed the Ravengers, but I haven't actually shown you how I was able to tame these guys. So what we might do now, we might go see if we can find another Ravenger and try and tame that guy. And I'll show you my way versus Laughter's way. 
All right, I can see one over here. She looks like she is on her own. So I have my bowler. We will just try to uh, <laughs> try and do a better shot than that. Oh, geez, I missed her twice. That was bad. All right, we're gonna we're gonna need to kill her friend here, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that, buddy, but you were a really low level, and I just want your girlfriend. All right, or your boyfriend. I'm honestly not too sure if this is a male or a female. Um, I might bowler it again just to try and see if it will stay put, stay there. And then we're going to pull out our trank arrows and we're going to try and knock this guy out. Now, like I said, I am going to do it my way and then we will show you how laughter does it. And you will see laughter's way is like a thousand times easier than my way. But I had to show you guys exactly how I've been doing it. <laughs> and then uh, you just can all judge for yourselves. But like I said, laughter's way is definitely the easiest way. So I'll see if I can knock this guy out. It is going to take a while. So uh, just keep laying these arrows into him. As you can see, I did just die off to the left here as well. Oh God, we got another one. Dang it. All right, I'm dead. But now I will show you a laughter's way of doing the Ravenger Tane. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so this is the way that laughter tames the Ravengers. It is a heck of a lot easier than the way I have been doing it. So basically what we need to do, we need to go get the Ravengers attention. They will chase us up that ramp and then they will get stuck in this little box here. So, and then I guess we should just be able to shoot them through the holes in the wall. I'm a little bit worried that they may be able to get out, but I guess um, we're just gonna give this a go. So this is the way he swears by. So fingers crossed it works. So where's he gone now? All right, it looks like he's gone down to find the Ravengers. I don't know if I just stand here and wait for him. Um, a little bit nervous. Oh, here they all come. <laughs> There's four of them. Oh, geez. All right. Um, guess we should probably make a run for it. I think we have to go this way so they follow in here. And then are they all stuck in the box now? Oh, one got out. Two got out. All right. So it would work. We just got to make it obviously a little bit higher. Might give him a quick hand here and try and take these guys out. Get out of my purse. Get out of my face. All right. So it's only a level 25. So that one wasn't too bad. Um, I think, oh no, there's still another one running around in circles. Oh, he's trying to chase her back up the ramp, so she'll go back up there. Um, <laughs> that's a level 140. That's not the Ravenger we want to be messing with. All right, we'll respawn and go back and see. Here we are. So they are all trapped in here now. And we actually really only want the 140. The other two are quite low level. So I'm just going to try and trank the 140. And that will be one of our new Ravengers we have added to our Ravenger pack. But I think I'm actually going to have to leave this episode here today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me again. And I hope to see you all again soon. All right, thanks guys, bye.